Welcome once again to another exciting edition of Chef Knives to Go Quick Look Product Reviews. I'm Steve Gamash, and today we're checking out an awesome hunk of steel. This is the Richmond Safety Knife 10 inch version, and um, this is conceived as something for institutional um, use that uh, you can lock down the knife via a safety tang back here and put a cord or a locker on it of some kind, or just keep it in place at a station so it doesn't walk away. Um, You've got a blunt tip uh, that's non-piercing and also a blunt heel as well. So we'll take a closer look at it, but this is just an awesome beastie piece of steel. I love this thing. Um, the core steel, I'm taking this off of uh, Sean Fernandez's video, but it's it, we think it's 515 chrome molly steel. Um, it's just a decent stainless steel. Uh, heat treat about 57, nothing, nothing serious, so this is meant for some abuse. And construction is mono steel. Um, it's got some mass to it. It's a pretty big blade, 210 grams and nine and a half ounces. And the uh, blade length is itself is about 240, but the edge, we'll get a tighter look at it, but the edge starts about there, and then it continues till around here, and then comes back out off the grind to a blunt tip. So the actual usable edge as is out of the box is about 190 millimeters. Overall length about 14, a little over 14 inches. The spine thickness is about 2.3 millimeters or so. And it's almost a visual thing, but I think it might get just a touch wider than that towards the tip. The blade height is pretty tall, about 57 at the heel. And the handle is just a no-nonsense resin handle. I think he's got them available in... Red and blue, I think, is the other color. I apologize if I got that wrong, but this is the red one. Um, the um, Again, the knife is no-nonsense, no frills, but it is finished pretty nicely. It has a um, hollow grind down at the bottom here. And uh, I went ahead and sharpened this, and actually I was pretty impressed with the sharpening. It took a pretty nice edge, and the steel sharpened reasonably well. And uh, so I was you know, pretty pleasantly surprised at that. And what's great about this knife is Mark's blowing them out for like $10. So um, there's a couple reasons why you might want to get one of these. One is um, everybody needs a beater knife. If you don't have a beater knife to do some rough chores, um, you need one. Because the Japanese knives that are thinner, harder steel just don't do some of those same tasks. Um, I had somebody... Um, PM or personal message me and said they he calls this his ten dollar kitchen machete. <laughs> so great movies by the way, machete. Um, you've got a really thick spine. Again, the tip is not sharpened, so it's blunt. Um, you could whack something like he does coconuts with this thing. Um, you could take down some smaller bones probably with it. And uh, again, you're not worried about messing up for ten bucks. I'll use Chef Knives to go people that hang out in the forums. If you don't have one of these, tack one on your order. Um, it's awesome. It's fun to use. You don't have to worry about beating it up and hurting it. Um, the second thing I think this would be really nice at uh, for is since the tip is not finished off, if you've got um, maybe you're new to metalworking and you've got a you just bought a belt sander and you want to try grinding some metal and practice with that belt sander, or you want to play around with knife finishing. Maybe you want to see what it's like to grind a knife a little bit, practice that a little bit. You've got a tip that you can thin out here, and then you can work the sides of the knife. So you can get some practice removing metal. You can get some practice shaping a knife, using putting some geometry on it, and also maybe using a series of belts to achieve a finish on a knife blade. Again, for 10 bucks, if you're going to practice some of that, buy two or three or four of these babies, and now you got some stuff you can practice on. You're not worried about messing up an expensive blade or something you're going to cry about if you mess it up uh, with something on your belt sander or your power equipment of whatever sort it is. So think about that as well. So two things. Everybody needs a beater. Grab one of these guys for the price. You can't beat it. And um, again, if you're into belt sanders or sharpening or want to try your hand at some knife shaping and get some practice on a good basis to start with. For 10 bucks, you cannot go wrong. So get, get a few of them. So there you have an awesome piece of steel, the Richmond Safety Knife 10-inch uh, version. 